What's up, what's up, Game Wars? Welcome back to another Infinite Lagrange video. And, well, devastation has occurred. <laughs> we have been in a constant battle with Soju for a week now. I've been bounced around this map several times uh, until I finally figured out that there is a safe way to avoid getting bounced around all the time. If you have a strong fleet, which right now I don't, I, they don't know that uh, because I'm avoiding them and I'm evading them and I'll show you that here in a minute. This whole video, by the way, is about evasion, right? To get away from the bullying. So we've had it to where Soju, specifically uh, one of the members, Tan, Tan Yu, is going around and attacking us literally two to three times a day uh, with a few other people in region two and one specific incident is they blockaded somebody for an entire two-day period now there's a way to do this and you have to you have to kind of be set up before you start attacking and that is to find the scattered asteroid belts okay these scattered asteroid belts are great for one thing and that's hide okay it's a region of high low speed asteroid activity what does that mean this right here type of ships that can pass through here frigates destroyers small utility ships and medium utility ships so nothing bigger than a cruiser and no large utility ships it is friendly towards you however if you bring your base in there let me show you what i mean by that so right now we're in my base and if you look my first ex expedition fleet has cruisers, and I actually ha have the new cruiser, which I'll have to go over this one, the Predator Aircraft Cruiser. These, these are in my fleet right now. This is in my base. If I get attacked, the enemy will have to come at me with only the most powerful ship they got as a destroyer. They have to go through my air defense. They have to go through the fence of the base, the cannons of the base, and then they also have to go through two fleets that is not feasible and any smart player knows it so what they normally do is they'll come in when they have time and they'll destroy this 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 but they'll leave your base alone this at least gives you a moment of breath where you can catch your breath and when they're not attacking you you can at least have the chance of gaining some wealth back and building a fleet back up now, this isn't a long-term solution. The scattered asteroid belt method is only used as a brief respite of constant attack. And I'm talking like two to three times a day, they're bouncing you around the map like a ping pong ball. That is vindictive cyberbullying. I don't care, you, you can say whatever it is, whatever you think it might be, but the actuality is it is cyberbullying. When you can't give the other person a chance to even play the game, that is cyberbullying. It is very prevalent in PvP games like this. So, I already knew it was going to happen. I'm kind of older, right? Uh, you could say it's the stoic part of me, right? Um, I really don't care. I know that there's a way around it. Uh, it took me a couple of days, actually about three days to figure it out. And I have moved. So, what I have done is figured out when and what times they like to attack. That's normally when they're awake and free from any work or constraints. So I know when they're going to attack me, which means my tactics are as such. I know that they're offline at certain times. So I'll, I go out, I build these little mining plats and I mine as much as I can. I build my fleet back up and then I get ready. I send out scouts and a miner and I build. I'm not going to show it. I was tempted to right there. Uh, I build outposts in other locations, in other asteroid belts until I can find a safe spot away from where they can find me and I spread out I go one and two in different directions right port starboard right left whatever up down w wherever you want but I would send out two scouts in separate locations and get an outpost the next time they attack you right they're probably not going to attack your main base that gives you the opportunity to again pull some resources before you leave the game the next day, move to the next outpost and then pop your shield. Now, when I say shield, this is what I'm talking about right here, your peace shield. 
Now, it takes three hours to activate, so you have to time this correctly, okay? If you have placed your outpost in a location you think it might take them time to get to, or they haven't yet discovered you, you could play a little co close, but if you've already known what kind of times that they will be attacking, or they normally attack, I would give yourself like a two and a half hour head start, okay? And then activate this thing. So, so about the truce, right? So the base cannot be attacked during a truce. Only the retreat command can be issued to fleets during a truce. Fleets already executing a command are not affected. For example, fleets executing mine or guard command will not be affected. The alert circles of all dispatch fleets will be minimized during a truce. They will not actively enter combat. A certain period of preparation is required before establishing a truce. You can only enact a truce when the preparation period is complete. There is a cooldown after the truce. You will you can only enact another truce once the cooldown timer is up. And I believe the cooldown timer is like I think it's like 1920 hours. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't activated the truce yet. <laughs> but once you deactivate it, like yeah, you have to wait that time frame to use it again. This is the perfect time to do it. But use the scattered asteroid belts to your advantage. They cannot attack you with their most powerful ships, but you can still use your most powerful ships in this scattered asteroid field in your base to prevent them from bouncing you around the map. It gives you a massive advantage. Now, if they decide to attack you with two or three different players with fleets of just straight destroyers and frigates, I don't really know what's going to happen at that moment. Okay. But at least at this moment, this nice little anti-bullying trick does work. It's been effective for me for the last two days. Um, and they've kind of seen the wane off mostly because Soju's attention is up towards the, uh, the higher empire. They've started taking cities <laughs> in region four. So that kind of whew, made me happy. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got. I hope this helps. If you guys have any other tips that helps avoid all this constant attacking, this cyberbullying, you can call whatever else you want, but just know, in reality, it's cyberbullying. Let me know in the comments below. That's all I got. Chief Rocky out.